Hey YouTube, Super Action Guy here, coming at you again with another wacky, zany something or another on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best of the 80s loot crate. I got this at a Christmas gathering, so I just want to go over the box real quick and then we're going to go through a, a detailed unboxing video with some help from my friends from the 80s. So here we are, best of the 80s on the back, uh, loot crate, a box of pop culture greatness. Uh, interesting selections there for best of the 80s. We'll... Uh, unpack that here in a little while best of the 80s upside down best of the 80s right side up best of the 80s and all kinds of 80s goodness so without further ado let's get this thing open hey youtube okay here we go there's no way you can tackle a project from the 80s of this magnitude without some help from the future or is it the past I don't know, Marty. What do you think? I don't know, Doc. We're dressed like we are from the 80s. Well, this is clearly an 80s crate, Marty. Let's dive into it. Oh. Oh, boy. Everything's sealed in here. Okay, let's see what we got. The very first thing that comes in that you see is this. The Back to the Future 2 hoverboard. One-fifth scale replica. What a little box. There is no way that I can stand on this thing. A little disappointing, but let's get it open and see what it looks like anyway. Very nice foam. QMX Online. All right, great. Throw that away. Ooh. Whoa. This is actually pretty cool, you guys. Wow. That is a hoverboard. Look at that. One fifth scale, meaning it's a little too small or big for one sixth scale, guys. Certainly much too big for Marty. Don't you know? You can't go on water. Not unless you have power. I don't have power. So here we have the hoverboard. It's on a mirrored plate. It's suspended. And unfortunately you can't mount it to a wall or anything, but it would look pretty nice just sitting on your desk or other flat surface so we'll put that off to the side the next thing we have is what a proton pack backpack does it operate at 1.21 gigawatts what the heck is a gigawatt this thing is pretty cool it's a drawstring backpack so you're able to just put some stuff into it but it does look like a nuclear whoop oh geez oh peace there we go can't call myself super action guy if i don't know the right way of a proton pack does have the ribbon cable does have all of your neutrino wand your cyclotron and you can open it and put stuff in very cool you guys pretty cool great for sleepovers stuff for kids now we've got well, like I'm Leonardo, said Michelangelo on one of the episodes where it was Michelangelo's voice, Donatello's animation, and Leonardo's katanas. I know, that was the beauty of the 80s. This is a magnet set for your fridge. So you can put these on your fridge, and you can have the turtles that guys like me grew up with, with uh, magnets for your fridge and different assorted awesomeness. Next up in the loot crate of awesome oh here's a classic all right big trouble little china and escape from new york two awesome movies my personal favorite happens to be this guy right here jack burton who me jack burton he's a truck driver going after uh this guy up here david lopan what david little old pan little old basket case on wheels or the 10 foot tall rollback eh? well what in the same mr button you don't know I know everything so this is a comic book uh, we'll have to dive into that maybe in a later episode but uh super cool snake Plissken, Jack Burton the three storms We've got David Lopan 10 foot tall roadblock David Lopan uh, very very cool and last but not least you've got this box here mysterious box now keep in mind that this is the best of the 80s so whoever put this thing together went across everything he could possibly look for in the 80s 
and came up with these items. I'm not gonna judge the guy or gal, but uh, interesting combination here. Oh, and here it is. The piece de resistance to this collection. You have the four lovely ladies of the Golden Girls. That's right, Sophia Petrillo, Rose Nyland, Blanche Devereaux, and me, Mom, Dorothy Spornak, Shady Pines, Mom, Shady Pines. Picture it, Sicily, 1912. A young girl is making spaghetti in her, well, where I'm from in St. Olaf. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is, if you're a Golden Girls fan, uh, this loot box is worth it for just this mug alone. I mean, to have the Spornax face just staring at you every time you pour a hot cup of joe. I don't know. That's, uh, that's crazy, but cool. So there you have it. Best of the 80s loot crate. Received as a gift from the rhythmic ceremonial ritual where wrapped presents are unwrapped by a group of people. Doc, are you talking about a Christmas party? Precisely, Marty. A Christmas party. Oh, that's heavy, Doc. No, it's not, Marty. It's a Christmas party. So you've got some really cool things here, you guys. I highly recommend it. The hoverboard is probably the best thing in this whole collection, uh, followed by the Golden Girls mug. The comic book is definitely worth checking out. Um, if you have the time and you have the energy and you have the desire and you're an 80s fan, you can't really go wrong. Right, Doc? That's right, Marty. Now I'm going to sip on some hot B. Arthur.